When joining the U.S. Facebook group devoted to the Vintage Collection, the administrators have you fill out a questionnaire. One of the questions is, what's your favorite figure in the line? And far and away, the answer is this one. The 2011 release VC44 Luke Degaba Landing. It's an awesome figure, and I want to dive into it here shortly. Now, there's been a number of different reviews over the years for this figure, and I'm not really sure what more I can really add to that, but I did kind of dive into the face sculpt and the accessories, as well as the filming of the movie itself and some of the trials and tribulations that they went through. So let's take a closer look, and I hope you enjoy. So here he is in all his glory. This is VC44 Luke Skywalker, and it's an awesome figure. I just got this back from grading with Collector Archive Services maybe a month ago. And this is just an amazing figure. I love the card, card art on this one. Let me see if I can get it to focus just a little bit better. It's absolutely gorgeous. We'll take a closer look at some of the other pre-production photos and during production photos in a book I have a little bit later, but here he is. This is actually the darker blue saber. I'll do a comparison here in a little while to show you versus the other one that's available. Luke comes with an awesome helmet. Look at the paint on that. Pretty pretty nice detail for the, for the helmet. He's got his DL44 blaster. The Luke sculpt while the face sculpt, while not perfect, is, is a pretty nice one. And uh, I'll show you a comparison to VC-158, Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot, here in a little while as well. Um, I still don't understand why this thing got an 85 grade. Here is the uh, label on it. 2011 Hasbro Star Wars. Luke Skywalker Dagaba Landing. The card and the blister got a 90. The figure got an 85 for an overall 90. And uh, one viewer thought that potentially it's because this hose was loose from this other hole, but this is how it shows up on the card. I've, I've looked at a number of these for sale on eBay and elsewhere, and that hose is typically connected down here with a secondary hole here. Um, so I don't know if that is for the, for, the, for the lightsaber hilt or not, but it does come with a, an unlit lightsaber hilt as well as the lit one, as you can see there, but what an awesome card. It's unpunched. Really beautiful. I apologize for all the glare. These acrylic cases are murder on filming. Beautiful straight card. There's another side angle there of the of the helmet. And, uh, you know, really nice detail for the time period. Here's the back of the card. It's got the clone trooper, the original General Lando. This has since obviously been re-released this year. Uh, the ATRT driver, which is another nice one I'd love to have. I'm not even I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name but another Jedi from Attack of the Clones and then we got Weequay. So those are the cards I guess in the wave and uh here's another shot of Luke in the swamp and uh, just a beautiful card. It's really really nice. VC44. One of the first ones I picked up when I decided to get into the vintage collection. I clearly don't have a large collection of 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 VCs but this is definitely one of the better ones. So um, really happy to have this one. Is anybody else shocked by how quickly Luke jumps into the water once he lands on Dagobah? He has complete and total disregard for his physical welfare. When I go to the beach, I never get into the water. I am convinced that even in ankle deep water, there is a shark lurking nearby coming to eat me. Even when I go to the pool, I never get into the water. When I go to the beach for a week vacation with my family, I start the week off looking translucent, like a grub that you'd find underneath a rotten tree stump, or like Smeagol from The Lord of the Rings. But by the end of the week, my skin looks like a used catcher's mitt. And you know why? Because I never get in the water. For all of you variant hunters out there, there is a variation for VC44. There is a light translucent saber, like you see on the right, which I believe was the initial retail release. The dark blue saber, like you see on the left, tends to be more common. I found out about this by looking at JediTempleArchives.com. This was an article that they wrote and mentioned that 
both of these were available. Jedi Temple Archives seems to think that neither version is more rare than the other, but based on my observations by looking at eBay sales, it seems like the clear saber is a little bit less common than the dark blue saber. When comparing VC-44 versus the 2019 Luke X-Wing pilot VC-158, the facial sculpts are quite a bit different. I would actually argue that the VC-44 Luke Dagobah landing release more closely approximates Mark Hamill's face and the hair color certainly matches better with the card art and production photos. I've included a few photos here of a gift that my brother gave me one year for Christmas. Uh, it's a book called The Making of the Empire Strikes Back. It has a foreword by Ridley Scott and it's a pretty incredible book with lots of detailed photos and lots of interesting information about the filming of the movie. The dig of a landing scene was a fairly grueling process to film and was not easy not only on the production crew but Mark Hamill as well. Early on in the production the crew came up to Mark and asked him, hey, how do you feel about getting into a pool with a live alligator? Mark Hamill's response was apparently, how do you think I feel? Nevertheless, early on, the film crew during a lunch break brought a six foot alligator and plopped it on Mark Hamill's lap. He was shocked at first, but he started petting it. And Mark noted in the book that as he pet the alligator, the stomach mus muscles loosened up and he could feel it relaxing. The scene was eventually cut, but nevertheless, the filming got more and more gross as the pool filled up with detrius, flies, and other kind of organic matter. And towards the end of that filming process, the pool that they used for the filming was pr pretty gross, apparently. So that's my somewhat irreverent look at VC-44 Luke Skywalker Dagobah Landing. The prices on these have gone, gone up quite a bit over the last six months to a year. If you're looking to pick one up in near mint condition, you can probably expect to pay somewhere in the neighborhood of 75 bucks to as high as 125 if you're willing to overpay for it. You might be better off looking in the Facebook groups for this figure. It's an awesome figure though, and I highly recommend it.